So first let's see what all ingredients we need for our palakkada veer. I have taken 200 grams of ash gourd, then one small piece snake gourd, then two drumsticks, one carrot, 12 long green beans or uh, instead of this you can use um, French beans, three cluster beans, two to three sprigs of curry leaves, then one row plantain. Then for grinding we need one cup of grated coconut and six green chilies. I am adding spicy green chilies here. If you need extra heat then you can add more green chilies as per your likings. Here I am using half cup of soap curd for the tanginess. This is the speciality of our palakkada avial. But just in case if you want to avoid curd then you can use raw mango or tamarind. Then salt to taste, coconut oil, you have to use coconut oil to get the right taste. I am not stopping you from using any other oil of your choice but obviously that will not end up as an avial. Here I am not using yam but if you have yam with you it is a good option to add. If you are adding yam please ensure that you cook the yam medium well early on before you add the rest of the vegetables. Slice drumsticks so that it absorbs the flavor properly. Add salt, then some coconut oil to this to enhance the flavor during cooking process. It's time now to add quarter cup of water. Just enough to bring in the steam to have your avial nicely cooked. Stir occasionally to avoid charring. While this is happening, let's coarsely grind the grated coconut and green chilies as shown. Avoid stirring once the vegetables are cooked. You can roll it over as shown. Now let's add the crushed coconut and chilli onto the veggies and combine it very well. Continue cooking on low flame for 2 to 3 minutes with the lid closed. Now it's time to add 2 to 3 tablespoon of soaked curd and combine very well with the veggies. It's important to have the avial sit for 2 to 3 hours to enhance the flavor. Now switch off the flame and garnish with curry leaves and coconut oil. This palakkadan avial tastes best once this is allowed to rest and cool down for an hour or two. Enjoy this with rice and chapati alike. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Korean Spices Ranger Zone. Thank you.